Genetic resources, along with soil, water, makes the three important basic inputs of agriculture. So uh, for any type of production, you need to have land, water, as well as a nuclear stock of production, which is seeds in terms of crops and uh, nuclear stock of fish or, or, or animal or that kind of things that is used for production. Without genetic resources, you won't be able to, to produce any agricultural production. Our diet is based on not only filling up the stomach with a uh, very certain number of crops or certain number of foods, but also uh, having a secure food and nutrition, which relies on the diversity of uh, different agricultural products, either crop or animal products or fish products. So uh, if you want to have access to diversity, then you need also to consider how to conserve and appreciate the diversity of genetic resources in order to be able to have access to diverse food, in order to be able to balance your diet, in order to have a healthy diet, not to be obese with using calorie, um, calorie uh, foods or not to be uh, malnourished with not using uh, very nutritious food. So for that, basically, the access to diverse food is important. And for that, uh, for producing that diverse food, the diverse genetic resources is, is needed. I believe uh, farmers, they appreciate genetic resources um, beyond our imagination and I believe they also rely on genetic resources that we would be able to produce for the future for them new combination of genetic resources they are looking to us for providing them with new genetic resources that can respond to their new needs either in producing products, but also in coping with the production problems that they are facing with water, like water scarcity, drought, or increasing temperature in the globe, which we call it as climate change effects, and so on. So they have produced genetic resources and they have uh, preserved that so far for us that we can use as raw material in order to breed, in order to produce new genetic resources that can respond to their new markets, to their new needs. Biodiversity is life, or genetic resources is, is life, I should say. So it is, uh, the importance is, is, is immense. And also for the future, um, not only for now that we are living, also for the future generation that they are coming, they are going to come and live on the earth, we need to preserve this genetic resources for them as well. Basically, we are not the only owners of the genetic resources, but the next generations are also the owners of them. And we have every um, obligation to make sure that next generations also uh, will be able to do agriculture on this earth, will be able to have good environment to live, will be able to have good water uh, resources to drink. And all of them are, are dependent on the really conservation of agriculture and sustainable use of agriculture. Climate change, for example, is, is one of them. Now we are facing um, increasing heat in, in, in the globe, 
for how you are going to cope with this increasing heat. Maybe increase of two degrees of temperature in one part of the world may inhibit uh, production of certain crops over there. So what to do then? Then you need really genetic resources that they can adapt to the new environment. And for that, you need to preserve the material that may not look very good today, may not look uh, required today, but tomorrow they will be uh, a savior of, uh, of, of our life uh, for, for this kind of things that I just said.